Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today the Minnesota Vikings have released star running back Dalvin Cook as he's been with the team since 2017. I was drafted in 2017 with the ninth pick in the second round, has been, been to multiple Pro Bowls, had a really solid season this year, has had you know, seasons, prior seasons in, in the last couple of years, last couple of two or three years, it has made him look like one of the best running backs in the NFL. And after some contract situations and just a bunch of whole other stuff, Dalvin questioning Dalvin Cooks if he wants to, if he wants to be there. And just a bunch of other stuff going on in Minnesota with Dalvin Cook and the two sides. Um Minnesota's finally releasing him. But apparently, um Minnesota, the 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 release of Dalvin Cook is not official till tomorrow. So Minnesota is trying. Minnesota will will trade him if they do not get a release done by tomorrow. So I mean, sorry. So they will trade him if if they will they will release him if they do not get a trade done by tomorrow. And there are some teams like the Broncos, or I think there is a couple other teams that would maybe be willing to trade for him. So it's going to be interesting to see if by tomorrow a team will maybe try to trade for Dalvin Cook. Um, I mean, you'd think they, would ex- they wouldn't they ex- would they wouldn't ask for much, maybe like a 6th or 7th round pick. You're, they're not going to ask for much if they're you know planning to release the guy. So you'd think Dalvin Cook would probably be around a 6th or 7th or maybe 5th round pick if if they have plans to release him. So, um, yeah, let's go over his stats from this season, though. Uh, this year he averaged 1,100, or not, he, this year he had 1,100, 100, 1,173 rushing yards and an average 4.4 rushing yards uh, per carry. Had eight rushing touchdowns as well. Had 39 receptions with two receiving touchdowns and 295 receiving yards. And he averaged 7.6 yards per reception. Let's go over his whole career with Minnesota. In his five seasons with Minnesota, um, since he got drafted there, he's had 221 receiving uh, 221 receptions, five receiving touchdowns, 1,794 receiving yards, and and his average for receiving for for recep- average receiving yards is 8.1 receiving yards uh, per catch and then rushing in his 5 years he had 1000 uh, 1282 carries with 47 touchdowns 6000 a couple yards shy of 6000 yards and average 4.7 4.7 um, 4.7 yards per carry. So really, 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 really good uh, five seasons with the Minnesota Vikings that he spent with them. And it's going to be really interesting to see where he goes. The I think the front runner to get him has to be the Miami Dolphins, but I think the Denver Broncos also has to be considered as a potential candidate because you remember – the Vikings can still trade him if the trade is if, if 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 you know they can trade him by tomorrow. Um, I think the Broncos are a team. So is the Dolphins are going to be willing to uh, to make a move trade wise. I think there are some teams that would probably only be interested in him. You know, in free agency, I think some some of those teams are like the Buffalo Bills or the New York Jets might not be interested in him in a trade, but would definitely be interested in him in free agency. So we'll see what happens. I, I will say the Bills would be nice. They got his brother, James Cook. They just drafted him last year. So to see the running back duo of James Cook and Dalvin Cook brothers, that would actually be really, really cool to watch in Buffalo. But Besides that, I think those are the the front runners to pick him up. I think Miami's number one. I think Denver's probably number two, and then the Jets are number three. The Cowboys are also going to be interested. So it's going to be interesting to see who picks him up. Uh, but using our thoughts on Dalvin Cook being released by the Minnesota Vikings, and that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, peace out.